Hey guys, what's up? Well, that's what you got though. You got black, because the black size. You know what's interesting I just realized? The room was 3D. The room was 3D, but the battle screen is 2D, but it's a 2D replication of the 3D uh, room. Pretty interesting. Also, the reason that the battle screen, if they are 16 by 9 in the remaster of this game, the reason the battle screen can be 16 by 9 is because what you see on screen isn't the entire size of the battle scene because the camera moves around a bunch all over the place. <laughs> if you don't understand why the FF8 remaster and or why the FMVs in this re this game's remaster can't be 16 by 9, y'all need to just open up a book <laughs> and, and do some reading or something. Wow, SP costs are really high. I think I'm just gonna attack with her. Let's do a crit. I'll push him back. And then you can do the big damage. Very slash. Oh, I can't get to him. Oh no. Interesting. V slash. Owie. That kind of hurt. That did not hurt very much at all. Thanks, Rages in, you did it. I said without stretching it though, but uh, hey, perfect. <laughs> wow, all I got was the one usage of it. Uh oh, feels bad. Oh, she got interrupted this time. Very slash! Hey, sexual penguin. What's up, dude? How you been, man? Mm, am I gonna make it in time? Only if he goes for her. No. Damn. Feels bad. I'm gonna eat this banana that's totally a banana, not a cherry. Ow! I'm in danger, Smile. Sky Blue Aqua, a remaster does not change assets usually. Like, very unlikely for assets to be changed entirely. So it's probably still a cherry icon. <clears throat> a remaster takes the existing visuals and, and, and smooths them out and kind of polishes things up. That's what a remaster is. So the reason a lot of remasters look awkward like the FF8 remaster is because that's FF8 just smoothed out. They didn't add polygons to it, they just improved the texturing of said polygons, so it's gonna look like it has awkward lines and stuff all over the place. Or have a weird icon or something like that. Chansu! Big win, puppy! Big win! Ba -ba -bum, bum, ba -dum, dum.
Yeah, very true. Yeah, a, a remaster, if anything, is as true to the original as possible. They just enhance the visuals. Oh, we did it, Justin. Now Jawa will give us the pass. What? Holy shit! Oh my god! What the hell? You guys are dead! Oh, this is bad. Holy bear alive! Run, Sue! Oh, why did this have to happen? Hold on, we gotta get the bread first. Def definitely a scene. It's definitely a scene. You don't like a gung gung about Gung Ho? They were qu just quiet about the game in over half a year saying it comes out soon and lied about things even after that. They didn't lie. They were just like, dude, game development's complicated, man. It's not just like, yeah, just make the game, idiot. Like, things happen, problems happen. You know, maybe they lost staff. Who knows? You know, if things happen and they had to delay it, they had to delay it. Would you rather they delay it or... <sighs> Come on, man. Think about it. What are you waiting for? This way, get over here. Uh, it's Java. Wake up and get going. Mine's collapsing. Hell yeah. Let's go. They didn't lie to anybody. They probably, they, I mean, I know that there was a lot of delays with Grandia, the remaster, like a year delay. But I mean, they didn't lie to anybody. They just said coming soon. Dude, the guitar riff. I love it. <laughs> Freaking guitar riff, dude. I love this so much. <laughs> it's so 90s. Oh, hell yeah, let's go! Yeah! Oh, we didn't make it. Uh-oh. That's kind of realistic, though, because, like, you would not you would not make a jump off of that. You would definitely do exactly that. dun 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 Why is this minecart so ridiculously, outrageously unrealistic? <laughs> it's like, okay, yes, we get it. It's a big maze. Yeah, okay, it's a little bit too- Oh my god, please. Dude, she didn't even hit it! She fell out, but the game just put her in it! <laughs> oh, please, dude! <laughs> Freaking amazing! <laughs> And the minecart just went on and on and on and on and on and on and on, and on, and on. Oh man, dude, the, dude, here's the difference between Crisis Core slicing a bullet with Zack's sword and this game's roller coaster escape, okay? Let me tell you. The difference is Crisis Core takes itself seriously. That's the difference, and it's a fucking huge difference. When you take your game seriously, and you try to act all cool and too school for cool or whatever, and you try to slice a missile in half with a sword, you're a freaking idiot, dude. It's dumb. But this game is goofy. Look at that guy's face. Look at it. He's got like olive oil neck. I could freaking wrap my pinky around his neck, dude. And he's got like, well, he has no hair except for the top. Like, come on, look at him. He's goofy as all heck. It's super duper goofy. The game is silly. Of course, it's going to have wild, craziest games that make no sense. It's the Saturday morning cartoons from the 1990s. Crisis Core is like actually trying to take itself seriously and be really cool and rad, but he's just a super cool dude, so we can do ninja cool stuff and whatever. That's the difference. You don't judge this for being unrealistic because it doesn't care that it's being unrealistic. Crisis Core thinks it's being cool and it's just being idiotic. What happened to Dr. Wily? This is Dr. Wily the after, after, after years where he's given up being evil for good so that he can help young budding adventurers on their journeys. Listen, a first rate adventure never gives up until the very end. But you didn't quite think about how to escape. I'm disappointed in you too. How would we didn't know that the cave was gonna freaking come on? What? So we failed, but we worked so hard. Let me tell you something. A real adventure never loses hope regardless of difficulties. 
Once you get to the new world of Valencia, don't forget these words and devote yourself even more. Huh? So Java, you're... Yeah, you do have a little promise. Well, <laughs> let's just say you passed. There, a pass to the new world. Take it, Justin. Steamer pass acquired. Yes! Now I can go to the new world! All right! Wow, how cool! Uh, maybe it's just my imagination, but isn't this sort of stinky? That's because it's soaked with my blood shed and tweet te 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 tears. Tears and show and a few, a few other things. My urine amongst them. Ugh, <laughs> uh, Listen, Justin. You have now received your wings. These wings are yours alone. My own wings? But don't forget, in times of real difficulty, an adventure does not rely on a pass. You must rely on your adventurer's heart. Rely on your heart to support your body and move your feet forward. Promise me, Justin. Someday, tell me your own adventure stories of a world I don't know. Now wait as long as it takes. Seems good. Sure, I promise, Java. I'll be going. Thank you, Java. Isn't it great, Justin? Come on, we can't be doing this. Let's go back to Parm, Justin. I have to say the 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 the, the translation is a little little bit back and forth. Like at some points it's really nice, and at other points it's just like, what? Huh? Why would you say it this way? Uh, Java, can I ask you about something? I know about that little girl, as everyone says, right? There's only one thing I can say: an adventure walks alone. Understand, Justin. What's wrong, Justin? Let's go home. Oh man, I'm gonna have to send her away, aren't I? Sorry. Thanks for the past, Java. I'll treasure it. Goodbye, Java. Take care while we're waiting. While you're waiting. I feel like I'm gonna have to say goodbye to Sue and it's gonna break my heart. Doing good, dude. How are you? There's something wrong with me. Oh, well, excuse me, princess. Bum, ba, dum, ba. I kind of wanted to stay there and just listen to that track, to be honest. Oh, that's wrong, Justin. You were so excited on the way back, but it didn't say a word on the way... Oh, you were so excited on the way there, but you didn't say a word on the way back. <laughs> Is that right? It's nothing. Say, what's the new continent like? I can't wait. Yeah, hi mom, back from Killing Monsters, nearly dying to rock about eight times our size, nearly fell on us and qu squished us into oblivion, and we would have been dead and you never would have known. <laughs> uh, our real adventure is finally going to start, Justin. It's going to be rough now. We have to say goodbye to everyone. They're going to be surprised. Don't you know, if both of us go away, and Lily's going to be lonely. Sure. I plan to go away without saying anything to mom. You'll be the one to say goodbye. Huh? What do you mean by that? I don't understand, Justin. Java said it too. From now on, the adventure is no game, Sue. You stay here. Well, what's this all of a sudden? We go everywhere together. We do everything together. I thought we'd be together. I've already decided. I won't take a child along. <laughs> the steamer leaves at dawn tomorrow. You don't need to come see me off so early in the morning. I'm not a little kid. I'm not. Without me, you'd never even have gotten the steamer pass. Don't you realize that? So, well, forget you. I hate you. My prediction: she'll be on this ship after I get on it. She'll sneak on. I promise, Sue. I'll come back a full-fledged adventurer. And on my next adventure, I promise to take you along. Hmm? Boom, got him. Ow. Kicked on the shin. Yeah, Sue's eight or something like that.
Hey, Justin. Something wrong? He just passed Sue wailing as she ran the other way. Oh, it's you, Gans. It's nothing. Nothing at all. Huh? You have a lover's quarrel? Keep that up and Sue's gonna be my bride. Uh, can I ask you to take care of Sue? Huh? What's wrong with you, Justin? Anyway, since I got wiped out last time, I'll think of another challenge. Remember that. Yeah, he's definitely one of those guys. Hi, Mom. Welcome home, Justin. Dinner's ready. We're having your favorite at stew today. Oh. Uh, okay. See. What's wrong? You almost say, Really? Still alright! And get so excited. It's not the same without Sue around. Did you do something to get her mad? I don't know what started it, but you ought to apologize. Being older, you understand. Well, eat then. See, well, eat then. That's such a weird, like, phrase. Well, eat then, you know? It's like, it should be something like, well, let's go eat then. Let's go eat, or let, well, let's eat, or something like that. It's just like a weird, like, they sometimes forget words in sentences or something like that. It's kind of an awkward, sometimes it's great localization, other times not so great. Because, like, they'll have, like, really uh, more intricate conjunctions like an adventure like instead of like saying an adventurer will do this they'll be like an adventurer will do this you know with the apostrophe ll at the advent end of adventure <clears throat> it's been quite a while since we had dinner together just the two of us it's not bad once in a while but you know it's sort of lonely without sue around ask her to come over tomorrow It'll be okay, Mom. Still, we'll be coming over tomorrow. She'll be coming over all the time. Stew today is really delicious. Never had such delicious stew even ever before in my life. Well, you're not eating stew. You're eating, like, a steak or something. Oh, <laughs> such a fuss. I make this all the time. This is one of my best dishes. Well, it's just... Anyway, today it's extra special delicious. Extra special! Okay, okay. I see. You're such a strange kid. It's just the same as always. Hang on, Justin. Aren't you eating too much? It's okay. Today, I want to eat my fill of Mom's home cooking. I'm just stuffed. Anyway, Mom, where do we keep our photo album? Photo album? I think it's in the chest of drawers over there. You think my birthday picture's there? The one with me swinging the sword around. So cool. I think so, but what's the matter all of a sudden? Come to think of it, the steamer of the new continent leaves tomorrow morning. You want to see it off? W uh, uh, what's wrong, Mom? Why do you say that suddenly? Right now, you're still just a kid, but in a few years, Justin, you might leave on an adventure, too, so I... Say, Justin, why don't you sleep with me tonight? Come on, like you did as a baby. What are you talking about? I'm not a baby anymore. But no matter what, not today. Ha, <laughs> Justin, don't take it so seriously. I'm just joking around with you. You're just too funny. You made me laugh so hard, I have tears in my eyes. Mom, actually, tomorrow, I'm, well... I'm gonna turn in now. Tell me about it tomorrow. Good night. Right. Good night, Mom. She sleeps in the kitchen. Justin, you get sleep too. Nice little touch with the window opening or the window light. <laughs> Turning on in the middle of the night. Guess that's everything. Guess it's goodbye to this room, too. Alright. Father? I'm sorry. Come on, I'm sorry. Mom after all. Father, Come on, I'm sorry, Father Coon. Father, too. I'm going to the new continent. I'm going to travel the world just like you did. Thanks to your spirit stone, father. 
The stone told me that Angelo isn't a myth. It's on the new continent. Now I know. You must have felt like this on the morning of your first adventure too. Apprehension? Do you... Do you think I can really be like you? The ghost appears of his dad. No, son, you kinda suck. That mom tells me that was much stronger. LOL! And much braver I did me. your mom! Wait, go Much much more like an adventurer. Yeah, basically his his dad who after You're death right. turned into a, a Halo player. Nothing or like Call of Duty all. kid. Right, father? I'll leave my picture here for you. I promise that I'll become an adventurer. You can't do it, kid. You. <laughs> this is, of course, it's a goofy picture Goodbye, of him. Mom. <laughs> I'm going. By the way, I just like to point out that when his mom went to bed, she went down here into the kitchen. This is where she goes to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Get wrecked. Looks like I, I maced that before. Oh, nice little mist effect. Signifying the very early, early. It's called, uh, shoot. What's that effect when you get a lot of mist or fog coming in from the ocean? I forget the name of it. It's not lake effect because it's the ocean, not a lake. Little lights on and stuff. Really nice touch. Dramatic effect, yes, that's what it's called. When the literal fog in the literal ocean rolls into the coastline. I don't like to talk to NPCs at literally every interval of the times ex of the game's existence. If there's a significant change to the game world, then I'll talk to NPCs again, but typically you're just gonna get the same dialogue again. No, there's a name for it, like the ocean like causing significant extra fog randomly throughout the day, especially morning time. I can't remember the name of it. It's a, it's a, not a well, not really a phenomenon, but. I am a passenger. I even have a pass. It's a real one. Real. Hmm. Does look real, but it's sold and it breaks or something. And no matter, passengers can't go back once past the gate. Understand? Really? Wow. Man, that's drastic. You must commit to boat. Of course. Come on, open the gate. All right. Take care, boy. Don't drink unboiled water. You'll get sick. <laughs> Thanks, sir. But I'm not so frail. I'm an adventurer. I can drink unboiled water and be just fine. I like how when you talk to NPCs, it's not just, welcome to Corneria, I like swords. Welcome to Corneria, I like swords. It's like you, you talk to the NPC, your portraits come up and you say things as well. There's a lot of lot of uh, polish with the dial random NPC dialogue. I used to be an adventurer, but then I took an arrow to the knee. I mean, the kids of today hate hearing about it saying not again. I want to hear it. Locked in forever. I'm Lightning Rick. Give me any job and I'll run as quick as lightning. Wow. 
But isn't that just slacking off? <laughs> Looks like he's jumping in. Are you gonna jump in? Oh, I'm hopeless. I'm so tired. Ah, oh, don't kill yourself. Oh, oh, don't surprise me like that. You almost made me fall. I'm just waiting for interesting bottles drifting from the new world. <laughs> Double file line. Okay. I'm in line now. Oh. Hey, wait up there, boy. Yikes. I guess Java's pass was too old after all. Look, hanging out of your pocket. That's almost like a signal to thieves saying steal me. Huh? Oh, thank you. Oh, what a relief. Can't go back now. Oh, huh? what's this? A letter? How'd it get in my pocket? You there, out of my way. Keep standing there and you'll get knocked into the ocean. Jeez, fine. I just have to move, right? <clears throat> it's a letter from my mommy. It's a letter from mom. From Lily the Skull to Mr. Gauss, president of the Adventure Society. Not to be read by Justin. Whoops. Uh... she put it in there on purpose or not <sighs> guess I shouldn't read it don't read this that makes me want to read it more I oh, guess I'm reading it <clears throat> but thou must he doesn't help his parents at all spends all his day playing adventure comes home covered in bruises gets scolded for his mischief brings home big bumps on his head this hopeless naughty little boy used to live in our house one day this naughty boy cried it was the day he found out he'd never see his beloved father again since that day, the naughty boy has become a greenhorn adventurer. That adventurer named Justin is friendly, simple, and scatterbrained. I can't say he's anywhere near full-fledged, but he's begun to walk on his own. On his own. When I see a single-minded figure in my dreams, I can proudly say, This boy is my son. Please, Mr. Gauss, please help this red-haired greenhorn adventurer, my son, help him follow his dreams. Mom knew all along. Huh, there's more. Naughty, naughty, Justin, knowing you, I thought you'd open this letter and read it. I thought you'd grown a little, but I guess you're still a naughty little boy. Listen, take care of your health. Your dad used to say an adventurer's health is his greatest asset. And just one last thing. Wherever you go, try to follow your dreams with all your heart. But don't lose yourself. Goodbye, Justin. Hey, what you doing there? You're the last one. Come on, get on board. Nice little touch how it zooms in to, for dramatic effect and then zooms out and now everybody's everybody's gone. It's like when you get when you get really into something, you're really attached to something and you focus on that one thing and then you, it's like somebody has to pull you out of it. That's the camera zooming out and then everybody's gone. And it was a single scene. It was, it was a nice touch. Thank you, Mom. Goodbye. I'll be back soon. Feels bad. It's gonna be my mom. She's gonna be on the railing. Watch me go. Maybe not. Well, let's look around the ship. Yes, we gotta find little girl, whatever her name is. So this is what the, makes the steamer go. Cool. Gotta be trouble if this stops. 
Yeah, music, music really helps that scene really, really quite a bit there.